Yo, what's going on gamers? It's around six days a week, and next week we have Wipe 5 of Dark and Darker, so I want to drop this quick info video to update you on what's to come and what is going to happen with Wipe. Now the current plan date is September 6th, which lands on a Friday for the United States, but we don't have an official time quite yet. For what will be affected by the Wipe, your character levels, items and gold, stash tabs, merchant affinity, and player rank will completely reset. You will however keep your character names, your fame, which is your total accumulated levels, your cosmetics, and of course your cosmetic currencies, so red and blue shards. A little tip here, if you are close to getting your next blue shard, just queue into the ice caverns and immediately extract on one of the rafts. They'll appear about 4 minutes into the round. HR extractions will count as 2 points towards your shard levels. Now let's take a look at what we're going to see on wipe day, or early wipe, so 2 weeks out from the wipe. First, we have the Return of the Runes map, which is coming back with some new modules and some new monsters. With those new monsters, Iron Maze does hope to add in two new bosses to the Runes map. I'm not entirely sure what these bosses will be, but Terrence did say the map would be more ghost and spirit themed, so use your imagination there. Speaking of bosses, it is going to take a lot longer to get to the Inferno boss fights now that Runes is entering back in. Runes will be the start of a three layer journey. It is now confirmed that runes will lead into crypts, and then later inferno. So we're talking a nearly 45 minute commitment if you want to progress through the entire 3 layer raid. Speaking of layers, this next wipe will also introduce the Expressman, or Postmaster, I'm not entirely sure what it's called yet. The Expressman is an in-game NPC that only exists in between the dungeon layers. This NPC lets you ship out items with the looted state for a small gold fee that you'll later pay in the lobby. Oh and for all those AP grinders out there, these shipped out items will not count towards your adventure point rank. Just a little heads up there. Alright, now we have the religion system, which right now there are 4 different deities you can praise. But Iron Mace did state that they have a lot more in the back burner, so expect these to change out throughout the next seasons. Right now, the religion system is fairly bare bones. You essentially gotta pick a religion to follow and then you can donate 100 gold in the form of offerings to increase the strength of that religion. As that religion grows stronger, you'll get some sort of bonus in the form of a stat. Right now on the testing server, the stat was luck and Iron Maze stated that they don't want it to give any huge advantages, especially in PvP. So expect something small like that. Now in terms of identifiers, Iron Mace is going with the sash idea, so multicolored stashes that you can choose from. However, they're not going to be locked to each religion, so you could wear any sash color you'd like and deceive others. There is going to be a hidden scoreboard that tracks religion versus religion kills, and that's going to be revealed at the end of the season. So more of a fun way to compare the religions and not an actual scoreboard. Next we'll have a few new cosmetic items upon the wipe day. One being the cat-human hybrid race, and some emotes which weren't really discussed about in the interview. Since we are starting to get a lot of emotes, especially those available through quests, Iron Mace hopes to add in another emote wheel or some way to select more emotes in game. Alright, now the big one, the arena. Dark and Darker's arena is going to be a 3v3 team vs team scenario, and it's going to bring back the Dark Swarm that we saw from Wipe 3 and before. Right now the arena mode will let you bring in any kind of item you'd like, so found in dungeon or even purchased on the market, but it will be full loot unless the item is minted, which means it's found by you in the dungeon for the first time or crafted by you. So in a way this will encourage players to seek out that endgame content of slaying bosses and of course doing the quests. This first iteration of the arena is going to be limited to just weekend access, since Iron Mace wants to fine tune their matchmaking settings. So yes, arena will have some sort of rank system. And finally, to conclude the wipe day ready material, we have some flavorful gear. I'm not entirely sure what this will entail, but do expect some armor that provides more benefits beyond just stat changes. Now for content that we may see during the wipe, but just not at the beginning, we have gem socketing, the sorcerer class, the gathering hall, which is the social space, and of course backpacks and quivers, which are currently held up by the new inventory system. For content that we shouldn't expect to see until December or beyond, we have artifact armors, the new water map, guild and guild halls, personal rooms, the monk class, and fishing and other mini games. All this information was taken from the most recent dev Q&A hosted by OnePeg, which is now uploaded on his YouTube channel. 
If you have the time to watch the whole thing, I do suggest it. There's some cool information in there, especially about the company and the company culture. Again, just to quickly recap what we're gonna see on Wipe Day, we have the new runes map, the Expressmen, we have the religion system, some new cosmetics, new flavorful gear, and then a week or two after that, we'll have access to the arena on the weekends. Do you note here, this is just the confirmed content. Iron Mace may sneak in a couple surprises for us. I do expect it. All right, gamers, thanks as always for watching. I really do appreciate it. We're almost at 20,000 subs on YouTube, and we also just got Twitch partner. So the channel's growing, the community's growing, and I hope you're having a great time in Dark and Darker. I'll see you in the next video and the next season. Have a good one.